Alright, so I had a couple people ask me how to make these cylindrical cream puffs, and I thought I'd show you how to do that real quick. Here I have some cylindrical ring molds, and I have some silicone, uh, some perforated silicone baking sheets that I cut into strips, uh, sized just perfectly for the inside of the ring mold, just like that. And here I have some shoe pastry that's just been sitting out. All you're going to do is fill the ring molds about one third of the way up, making sure that it's filled all the way around the edge as well. Next, what you're going to do is place another perforated baking sheet over the molds like that and then place another baking tray on top of that and then place some sort of weight. Here I'm going to use an old baking stone. If you have any cast iron, you can use that too. And then you'll take this whole deal and bake it at 375 Fahrenheit, or like 190C, for a full 60 minutes and then you're going to turn off the oven and leave them in the oven to dry. And here's the result. So you'll see they kind of burst out a little bit. That's totally normal, totally fine. Let me show you how I'll deal with that. So to get rid of the overhang, you're just going to flip it over and press down like a cookie cutter. And this bit should come right off. Take off the silicon. And here we go. You'll notice around the edge where this stuff broke off, it's a little uneven. So because you're a perfectionist, like me, and take a microplane. That's a cylindrical cream puff. Alright, I'm gonna finish up this project and then go do some pull-ups or something. But until next time.